Hey guys, I'm Dr. Bob and welcome to my video series on Tabletop Simulator. So why would you want to learn Tabletop Simulator? Well, first off, we're doing an online course and Tabletop Simulator is fully online, so that's going to work out great. However, that's only part of the story. One of the other reasons why I actually really love Tabletop Simulator is because it's so quick and efficient. If you want to prototype games, whether it's video games or board games, Tabletop Simulator can help you out quite a bit. Um, for example, if you want to set up a board game, like it might take you 20, 30 minutes to set up a pretty big game, in Tabletop Simulator, setting up a new game is just a click away. It goes that fast. Furthermore, if you just want to make a game from scratch and just get some assets and build something, well, in Tabletop Simulator, you can conjure these assets out of thin air. Um, you can copy them, you can delete them, you can pretty much do whatever you want with them. It's awesome. So now that we know that, let's look into it. How do you get Tabletop Simulator on your computer? To install Tabletop Simulator, we first need Steam. Uh, Steam is the biggest game distribution platform in the world, and you can find it by going to steampower.com. Now, if you already have Steam on your system, you can skip a couple of steps here, but please check back in for the second part of the video when I get the Tabletop Simulator, because I might tell you a couple of things that you're not aware of yet. So if you're still here and you're trying to install Steam, just click on the green button to install Steam, and then on the blue button, it's available for both Mac and Windows. Now, if you run into any problems though, just talk to an instructor and I'm sure they're happy to help you. I can't show you exactly every step along the way of installing Steam though, because I would have to uninstall everything on my computer and I have a ton of games installed on Steam that all would have to be reinstalled, which will take me forever because it's a lot of them. So I can't really do that right now, but um, if you run into any issues, again, just ask an instructor and I'm sure they'll help you out. So once you've got Steam installed and you open it up, you'll find yourself um, on the Steam uh, front page of the store. And to get the tabletop simulator, you just have to type it into the search field and you can find it here and you'll get to the tabletop simulator page. Now, typically it's about $20. Sometimes they go on sale and you can get it for $10. Um, if the game is not on sale, however, if you have three people that you know in the class, you might be able to just pitch together for the four pack and you'll all get a smaller discount, which is still nice. So once you've purchased the game um, by clicking here, you should be able to find it in your library. Um, as I told you before, I have a lot of games here. Um, and once you have it in your library, there is an install button. Once the game is installed, it turns into a play button and you can launch the game that way. So that's what we'll do right now. All right, welcome to Tabletop Simulator. If you've launched the game, this is what you should be seeing by now. And I'm sure you've noticed that in the background there is this really annoying music going on. Um, so let's turn that off first. To turn off the music, we go to the main configuration, which is the gear wheel. And we go to sound, and we turn down the main music volume, and isn't that so much better? All right, so next up, how do you control Tabletop Simulator? Well, um, you can use a lot of input schemes for Tabletop Simulator. You can use a mouse and a keyboard, you can use a gamepad, you can even go full on VR. Um, I would recommend that you go with mouse and keyboard. You could very well use a gamepad as well. Um, it doesn't have to be an Xbox controller, it can be pretty much any gamepad that you like. But I found the controls with the gamepad to be kind of cumbersome and require some customization. So to just not have to worry about that, let's just all work with a mouse and a keyboard. Now, if you're going to be using the mouse and the keyboard, as I'm asking you, I do recommend that you actually get a mouse, not just your trackpad, and that you get a mouse with a middle mouse wheel. It makes navigating tabletop simulator so much easier. With that out of the way, um, you might find yourself in a lot of situations that you need to get back to Windows from Tabletop Simulator, especially when you start making games. It's actually really easy to do that. Um, you can just click on your Tabletop Simulator screen and press Alt and Tap to go through all the windows that you have active. For example, I wanna to go to Steam. I can just go back like that. Um, but alternatively, you can also just press Alt and Enter, which will take Tabletop Simulator from full screen mode to window mode, which is pretty great. Um, and it's completely scalable. So if you wanna make it really small or really big, it's all up to you. Um, if you have multiple monitors, I recommend just using multiple monitors. But if you have one monitor, uh, the window mode works perfectly fine and it's really convenient. So with that out of the way, I have one more comment that um, might be useful for you guys because I have noticed with people who don't have the best laptops that sometimes Tabletop Simulator can get a little quirky when you're trying to load games. Um, if you end up loading games, which we will do in a bit, 
and you get into any kind of errors where images are not loading or things just look off in general, you might want to try disabling mod caching. So what does that look like? Well, again, you go to the configuration. This time you go to the game tab and you'll find mod caching here. And as it says, it's about um, speeding up loading by storing data on your hard drive. However, if that data gets corrupted, it can lead to issues. So if you turn it off, it will load all the images of a game every time you load the game. Um, I wouldn't recommend turning it off. And for now, I would recommend that you leave it on. But if you run into any issues with games not loading properly, I would try turning it off. All right, so let's start our first tabletop simulator game. So there's two ways to do this. We could either join a game that somebody else has already started by clicking the join button. Um, and when we do that, we get to the server browser. Some of these games might have these little locks in front of them, which means that you need a password to access them. But the ones without the locks, you can just walk into. Just remember, you have no idea who's gonna be in that game, so be careful. <laughs> um, if you wanna set up your own game, however, you can just click on create. In this case, we're gonna click on create, and then we're gonna click, uh, click on single player. Um, because it's just going to be you for this little demo. And here we see all the games that we have. Now, um, games in Tabletop Simulator are actually called mods because the game that you are playing is actually called Tabletop Simulator. And all the games that you can play in Tabletop Simulator are modifications of Tabletop Simulator. So that's why they're called mods. So to load a mod, you click on Workshop. And here you'll see all the mods that you have subscribed to from the Tabletop Simulator Workshop. Now, this is probably gonna be empty for you. Um, in my case, there's obviously tons already because I've been using Tabletop Simulator extensively for quite some time. But if you wanna fill this section up, you just click on the green Browse button here, which will take you to the workshop page of Tabletop Simulator. If you see anything else in relation to Tabletop Simulator in here, just click on Workshop right here. Now, these here are all mods already. These are the most popular mods, but you can also use the search window to search for them. And for now, I would like for you to look for Dr. B06 says TTS, and that should probably already do it. And that will get you to Dr. Bot, which is me, Stable Top Simulator tutorial, how to, how to play games. So um, you can click on the plus button here to subscribe to it, or you can just click on the image, which will take you to the page for the mod itself. And then you can click on a subscribe button here. It doesn't really matter where you click as long as you subscribe to it. And then you can close this window. And to get out of this interface, you have to press shift and tap, and it'll bring you back to tabletop simulator. Um, and you should find the mod in the list now. If it's not there, I would just press back, close this window, go back into it, click on workshop until it appears. And then you just have to double click it, click on load, and it'll start loading the mod or the game. Now, this is an exercise room that I made to get you guys accustomed with Tabletop Simulator. Um, it's not really a game, but you know, you can see some playing cards there and it kind of looks like fun, I hope, <laughs> maybe not. Um, anyways, that's all I have for this video for now and I'll have you guys play with this in the next video. However, before you do that, I am gonna give you a quick homework assignment that shouldn't take you too long. Just click on menu and click on main menu to go back to that beautiful main menu that we saw earlier. And there I want you to click on the little light bulb, bulb that says tutorial when you hover your mouse over it. When doing so, you will start the tabletop simulator tutorial and it'll teach you the basic controls with mouse and keyboard. Um, it doesn't show you everything, everything there is to it. I'll help you with that, but just go do it until you're somewhat comfortable with it. You can run it twice if you need to. And once you're done with that, I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.